Despite that the Ottawa's traditional St. Patrick's Parade did not happen this year, the Irish community of the National Capital Region celebrates St. Patrick's Day. Well, needless to say, we're terribly disappointed there's been no parade this year, but these things happen and we will be bigger and better next year. We'll be all ready to go. But in the meantime, we're still celebrating St. Patrick's Day. It's a wonderful day. It was celebrated all over the world. It's probably the only uh, festival that's celebrated by everybody all over the world. And we're here at St. Bridget's Well. And we're going to have a great day. It's already started. You can hear the traditional music in the background. We are just so happy to be here and there's many, many ways to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, even without the parade. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. I gotta say this is a big one for me. It's been uh, four years since the parade hasn't been here and uh, you know, with my Irish heritage, I'm 99.9% uh, .9 Irish. This means a lot to me this day. Uh, if I could, I would like to at least share some Irish energy and love to everyone out there. Um, to all the Spanish um, speaking, and here we go. Um, it's a little, it's a little Irish ditty. It goes like this: For rumbling and rolling and football and porting, drinking black porter as fast as I fill in all my days roaming. I never so jovial like a muscular sportsman like old Teddy Quill. Cheers. The last time the city of Ottawa had a St. Patrick's Day parade was in 2019. Since then, the Irish society says the pandemic, finances, and the lack of volunteers has been behind the parade's cancellation like these years. The Irish community and society hope that volunteers will come next year so we can have the St. Patrick's Day parade. And Danilo Velasquez and the city of Ottawa for Quienes Somos.